We have a treat for you today. This is 847 North Paulina. I have two units to show you. The simplex penthouse unit, two bedroom, two baths, as well as a four bedroom, two and a half baths duplex down. So ultimately, there'll be a Trex decking here with these great views of the city. And we're on an extra wide lot. On top of that, we're on the corner. So you're gonna get light all day long. And notice these walls. These are full masonry walls through and through. A lot of times this will be cinder block. You'll see it painted. You're not gonna have to worry about ceiling or anything with this building. The entire structure is brick front to back. Let's go look at more. As we come here, a lot of times this room is, is kind of wasted. It's, there's not a lot of purpose to it. There's not a lot you can do with it. You have a nice window here. You have the mechanicals up here, freeing up the room downstairs. But this is a perfect office. I mean, you can completely do something up here. You could also add a bar, should you choose. But we have gas up here. We have water. We have a TV area. We have everything that you want on this penthouse deck level. Let's go down. The contractors are putting the finishing touches on right now. But look around us, and we have white oak floors, white oak stairs with oak risers, treads, and stringers, the side parts. It's all the way up. Plus, you have this beautiful glass really teeing it all off. And then on our ceiling height here, wow, 10 feet on the ceiling height. Here's a few things I want you to notice. So we have a junction box here, and we have a junction box here. This isn't where the architect laid them out. This is where I had them done, because this is where I imagine your dining room. And then this, should you choose, is where I imagine your sofa and a nice decorative light coming off here. Then we have these beautiful pendants coming down. Nice, large peninsula. You can really have four seats here. One, two, three, four. I mean, if you're pushing it, you could really have five, but comfortable people sitting, not bumping into each other, four in total. Then we have the full kitchen, okay? White's boring. So, we did this color that's actually called Heron. Like, Heron, yep. And beautiful cabinets. You will choose the hardware. For now, we have these makeshift ones to pull them open. But look how thick these doors are. I want you to pay attention to this the next time you're looking at a property. And this has a skinny shaker, okay? So it's very low profile. This is in, not everyone's making it, and it's a lot more expensive because it isn't being mass produced at the moment. But this is a clean style that's gonna really age well. You're gonna see this 20 years from now. It's always gonna look timeless. For the backsplash, countertop all the way up, under cabinet lighting, of course, and then drawer microwave, all Thermador appliances throughout. And I love how they're concealed, built in, very well done. We have the white oak, all base cabinets, white oak. It's going with the floors, it's going with the stairs, it's tying everything in. And then right here, we have our refrigerator, Thermador as well. I love the stainless and the glass. It's very clean. You can shift these very easily as well. And then you have soft clothes, everything here, even on the drawers. As we have the 10 foot ceiling height, it's really accentuated by the eight foot doors. These are solid core, heavy doors, and these are the single panel. So you can put a mirror on the back or a mirror on the front so you can easily have that work into your room without having a separate piece of furniture. So we have the zellage tile on this entire back wall cascading through on the skirt of the tub as well. And then we have the herringbone grayish blackish floor all tying it in and that same heron color right in here. And then if you notice the faucets, all the accents, Everything is polished nickel. So we have some black and black's good, but I'm seeing a lot of it, like kind of too much of it, right? We don't want to age the home with this brush brass, all black look. I think the timeless, most elegant look is polished nickel. First bedroom right here, linen closet right here, coat closet right here, and this is where I would recommend that mirror, right? So you can open it up, see how you look, tie it into the door, close it, call it a day. Then we come through here, train furnace, top of the line, high efficiency, minimum 95% efficiency. And then we have your washer and dryer right here. And we have the stack, the tower, the two-in-one unit, LG, everyone's favorite, hard piped in the back too, 
So you're minimizing your, your possibility of fire. And notice this, we have this large window right here. We have another large window right here. Looking through the homes as you go through them, tell me which ones have this. And then we have another one, you stay there. We have another one right here. So when you enter, when you come into your home, you have the natural light coming in. Close the door, and then you have the two sconces, but plus an overhead light here. I mean, we have an abundance of light to make sure that you feel safe, secure, you're not tripping, you're not stumbling upon things that are in your unit. So now we have the primary suite for this unit. It's right here. Nice big size on the bedroom. And we have the side windows here that are, you know, it's floor, not floor to ceiling, but tall like the other ones. Then we have the tall windows here, which gives you two options to lay your bed. If it's me, I think I'm putting it right here. Bam, right about this. Two nightstands, easy, no problem. Facing the door so you can see your enemies when they come in. And then we have nice walk-in closet here, can be easily built out. And then we have this beautiful bath marble floors, quartz countertops, and this very zen feeling with the zen boards on this side, herringbone all the way through on this wall, and we have the herringbone shower pan with the drain. It's beautiful. This is polished nickel here, polished nickel there, polished nickel above. Look how tall this is. I mean, you're gonna have a real rain head effect should you want, and if you don't want that, just come here and get blown away with water. It's really great. Let's go look at the duplex down. Okay, I almost forgot something. In the front, we have six foot depth balconies plus. So I walk into lots of properties and you can't really use the balcony. Like you might be able to fit a grill out there. You might be able to do that. But one, when everyone's using the European doors, and I like the European doors. This is not talking about those. But when everyone uses them, they swing open most of the time. Well, you have to swing open into your room. You're hitting your sofa. You're obstructing your flow. But I want you to come here and feel, like actually come here. Woo, I said over six. This is seven, nine on the depth. I promise you, this is gonna be one of the deepest real balconies you ever feel. You come out here and you actually get your own space, your own size, gas line right here lights on each side, large window on the side here too. But look at this, we're on the corner. You have this beautiful architecturally significant home right there. You have another architecturally significant building right over there on that corner. This is where you wanna be in East Village. This is a solid neighborhood. Now, let's go look at that duplex down. So part of the duplex down is this enormous outdoor space. We're looking at, whoo, 18 by almost 19 out here. Also notice, you have the smoke glass all the way around, adding a level of privacy, and you have the pavers. So if there's ever an issue, if any something you need to do, you just pull one of these up, address the issue, remedy it, put it right back down. This is as good as it gets. Now, above the garage, we have treks because the weight of these is so much. They have to reinforce this area just to do it. But above the garage, we have treks. Again, zero maintenance, nothing you have to worry about. But I love this space right off the family room area. And then you have your gas line right here. So just come out, grill, same thing as upstairs. No swing doors, so you're not protruding into the space. And then you have great family room. Great place for a TV here. Great place for a sofa. Now, I walk through a lot of these units and I get a lot of feedback from different people. We have the white oak cabinetry, it's beautiful. Wet bar, beautiful. Everyone needs a place to put their stuff. You need a drop zone, right? So you have a desk here, so maybe your children, they can do their homework here. You can be part of the family in the room while this is happening, or this is just where your bag goes, or maybe this is your work from home spot, but it has it all. Plus, on top of that, nice mud room, coat closet. This is where it's gonna be right here. Notice the big windows too. Big windows on each side right in the corner, so we're letting all that light pour into the property. I'm really in love with the kitchen here. Very big, sizable island. Sink under the window, completely clear here. Of course, the open and close on the appliances, 
You have all the tricks for the refrigerator and the freezer, of course. Full top of the line appliances. But just look at the room from here. Now, a lot of duplex downs, they have you know, the two passageways, one right over here, one right over here. The powder room's more or less where I'm standing. I see that a lot. I see it a lot, a lot. And we wanna have something that's a little different. One reason I like this more is the transference of sound. But before we go further on that topic, look at this powder room. Tell me this doesn't make you wanna be in a spa. It feels like a spa. It is a fantastic powder room that is zen, clear, clean, polished nickel finishes again, but it's right here off to the side too. It's a little off the kitchen and headed downstairs, but if you're in this room entertaining or you're in that room entertaining, it's kind of in the center so you can get away from everyone and take a moment to yourself. Now, by adding this wall and not having this be a pass-through, you're able to use this wall, okay? So if you ever needed to, this could be a wet bar, it could be a dry bar, you could have your buffet here, but it's also a fantastic art wall. We put the junction box right here. So for your dining room, you can face it either way, which in the layout I was describing prior, is really hard to do. You could be circular, you could be rectangular, it gives you a lot of options. We have these large, more or less, floor to ceiling windows on this side too, creating another art wall, but flanking your dining room table. That's the difference between this floor plan. And then a lot of times you'll see the fireplace right in the middle of the room, which is really dictating your entire layout, how you organize your space. This is about three feet from the wall, so you can have a nice sofa here if you wanted, or just two chairs. You can actually open up this space and not have it be dictated for you, decided for you because of where the fireplace stands. So you're gonna see these little details throughout that really change from duplex down to duplex down. And like many, and let me know in the comments, do you prefer all the bedrooms down? Or do you prefer two up, two down, three down, one up? What kind of layout would you like as a person? Because this has them all down. I think it's nice to have your whole family on one space, but I don't think there's a wrong answer here. As we come down, we have the primary right in front, two walk-in closets over here, and then we have this fantastic primary bath. Now the first thing you're gonna notice, or I hope you notice, or at least I notice, these are large format tiles. When I see these bathrooms, most of the time, I see little hexagons, little penny rounds, herringbone, basically a million grout lines. When you have that many grout lines, it's a disaster to clean, especially in your primary where you're in here every single day. And this is marble, it's a natural stone, right? So you need this sealed, you need this to be taken care of, and you don't want all the grout lines around it. Now, furthering the finish here, we have a shelf. Usually you see a niche built into the wall. This allows you to put all your products here. Much cleaner look than a box. And when you need the box, the box is great. I like it for second baths. But in a primary bath, this is what I want to see. And then we have the shower pan with the hexagon. So this, we need the water to come down. So it's all being pushed down. That's what we're looking at here. And of course, we have the tile fill drain. Full, real soaking tub. And to keep your relationship alive, we have our water closet right here. And then nice, big, how wide is this? What do we think, seven, eight, six, ten. Six, ten in space, double vanity, with all real drawers. I showed this the other day, and the first comment was, do these drawers actually work? Yes, 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 they do, look at this. And look at the cabinet quality. Dovetail joints, full carcass, real thick wood. It's the biggest thing I noticed when we looked at these cabinets and chose to use them. These are high, high quality, top of the line, built right here in Chicago. And that's where your robes go. Let's go look at more. We have these beautiful stairs here, wood risers, wood treads, wood stringers, wood everything, beautiful glass, all tying in together. We have a luxury vinyl floor here, and we have our furnace on this level too, but look at the bedrooms. These are actually, good size with walk-in closets. Look how deep this is. And you have the same thing right behind me. Nice large windows up top too. Side-by-side -side laundry. Here's another thing to note. 
It's all about the small details in these homes, okay? Anyone can throw up a building. It's about how it actually lives. So you're gonna notice the magnet up above. You see that white right there? It just grabbed the door. A lot of times, these have ball joints, and it's very annoying. Something needs to be adjusted, so I'm not gonna force that. But it's very annoying to work the door because you have to like pull it open like this. This, it's being pulled into place with magnetism and just pull it apart. Much cleaner feeling, much better look as well. Now we have our second bath right here. Zellage tile all the way through. Nice large vanity. Lots of drawers on the side. Toilet here. Zellage wrapping all the way around. And then you have the base of the tub for all your products when you want to see them there. Let's go look at more. Now, one nice detail. You could do a built-in right here. That was a bench, a place to put some jackets. So when you're coming in down below, you have a nice spot to put your things. And then we have two bedrooms here, big bedrooms, walk-in closets as well. And then we have storage units on this side. So for this unit, there's no storage unit that's included, but for the top floor, because the center unit's already sold, we have these nice places for storage, which is what you need, right? Thank you very much for watching. I'm glad I could show it to you. I almost forgot, we have Anderson windows here. This is a spec project. You usually see Anderson windows on high-end custom homes. These aren't Weather Shield or Climate Guard or these other brands that are fine, but this is literally one of the best windows that you can buy for this entire building. So all of our materials here, cabinets, flooring, windows, appliances, are all top of the line, not spec, builder's grade stuff that you usually see. Thank you.